Hello and welcome to this Blender Low Poly tutorial. This is actually part of a longer series, so if you haven't watched the previous episodes, you may want to have a look at those first. Let's continue where we left off. Okay, we need uh, a face on him now and some and a helmet. Press F to go into oh yeah, sorry, keypad five to get into this orthographic mode. So let's go back into default. And here I can also enable texture solid so we can start seeing the colors for him now. Uh, tab into object edit mode. Vertex, let's get his shape to be a bit different for the face. Okay, now we're gonna add a face to him and I wanna keep these faces really simple, low poly looks as well. Might give him a beard, should we give him a beard as well? They were too lazy to shave, I think, back then. Well, mustache, at least. Let's try something. Oop. Oh, that looked evil. It's like a knight's helmet. Uh, control R. I want to have a beard here, here, here. So let's just press E to extrude. And then let's move the beard up here a bit. So. And then, let's see, we need a moustache as well, don't we? First we need a nose, so it's a K, I do to go into knife tool. And I just draw a square there. And E to extrude. Go into vertex select, move this one in. And here's that trick again where you hold the, you press G to move it and then control key and then I'll just snap these into the face here. Let's make a really simple looking nose here. A twice, once to z-select and once to select everything. Space, remove doubles. I should show that a little bit. So remove doubles, type in here. Okay, let's see if we can still get a mustache on this guy. Does that work? E to extrude. I think that'll work. We could always link these up together, so, but I think it's quite nice when it's separate like that and then uh, let's bring this up a little bit let's try to color these features in oh you should have uh, an eye as well nope okay the knife to In a bit. Okay. I'll do, I think. Let's save. Maybe we'll color these in now so we can see. So I just select. Those and then press Control Numpad Plus to grow. Go back into UV editing and then give him a dark beard. And then the eye, select those two. 
cheap. Let's do that brown as well, actually. Or just like that should do. Cool. I'm happy with that. Default view. There we go. Okay with that. We don't need ears or anything like that, so control C. And let's give a helmet as well. And to make a helmet, let's see what do they look like. So let's make maybe not something as fancy as that. But let's use these. And it goes down. It's got a nose piece anyway, so let's do that. And then here, what I like to do then is uh, I press Shift D to duplicate. Um, and then just drop them anywhere, I guess, or escape to slap them back. And then I'm going to make this into a separate object. So I press um, P, separate by selection. And then tab key. And then now this is a separate ob object, um, the helmet. So I press tab again to edit it. And then G, uh, A to select all the faces. And then G to grab. And then make the helmet a bit brighter, like this shade. Move it up. Then we can scale it now with S. And then we can also reshape it a little bit. It doesn't have to be exactly the same shape as the head. G. G to grab it. Be careful so the head doesn't poke through here. Okay, and we don't want to be leaving it exactly like this because it's uh, it's got no back faces here, so we make want to make it more solid. And there's a few ways you can do it. Um, I'll save first. And one, let's see, which one should we do? We'll do, there's something called a solidify modifier that we can try. If we hide the body, I select the body here, object, I uh, press tab to go out into object mode, and then I press H to hide it. So we're just working with the helmet now. And then what you can do is um, you can select back face culling, and it'll remove the inside back faces. And that's how you know if you've got a mesh that doesn't have any insides that would be transparent if you were to render it. And we don't want to have, have the, the helmet transparent when viewed from the inside, because if it falls off, for example, we want to be able to see the inside. So let's select the object, press tab to go into object editing mode. Press uh, select the faces, press A to select everything. And then, so one way we can do it now is just by pressing uh, E to extrude. And press escape. But we still got it here, see, if I press G. Um, and then I want to scale it out slightly okay and that's it now you've got a more solid looking helmet and then to move this up to make the ed edges a little bit more i can go on alt left shift oh i need to eight deselect everything alt left shift alt left shift let's hold shift key and select a few of these just to bring it up like this and now we've got a solid helmet. Sometimes if you're still seeing through when you did the extrude, um, you might have done the extrude inwards, for example, then you need to flip the normals. And to do that, you don't need to do it. I don't need to do it now, but uh, if I do A to select everything, press space and do type flip here, and then do flip normals. 
Um, as you can see, inverted my mesh now, you don't need to do that. But uh, if, if you ended up with a strange looking mesh, it's probably because the faces are facing the wrong direction. So have a look at that in that case. Um, we can also paint the helmet on the inside here. Let's select this face and that face. Press Control Numpad Plus to grow. And then go into UV editing and do that dark instead. And then I do, when I'm outside of the object editing mode here with tab, um, I do Alt H to bring the guy back. And the helmet is uh, still a little bit too big now since we made it more solid so we can scale it down. So I select the helmet, press tab to go into object edit mode, A to deselect, and then A to select everything again, S to scale it. Then I scale it down so it fits on the head without breaking or looking strange. Give it some space for the head to not poke through. That should be it. Okay, so now we've got a helmet that's not as fancy as this one, but it doesn't need to be. I think uh, it was just to get the general idea of the helmet. So let's go back into the default mode. We shape the helmet a little bit. All right. See now, I have to be careful because that's the inside of the helmet. So I don't want to reshape it so it breaks that part. If you need to reshape the helmet more, you might uh, want to hide the character again. Okay. That should do for the helmet. I think this guy is done now, so we need to save it again. We should actually give him a weapon as well. And they seem to have a lot of these. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel for future videos that I make. You can click to your right to watch the next episode in this series, or you can click on the left to watch the previous video.